When ATI launched its Radeon HD 5000 series of video cards, it also marked the release of ATI's new iFinity technology. Here to give us the inside scoop on what the iFinity technology is all about is Maximum PC and a non-tech.com writer, Lloyd Case. Welcome back to the show. Good to be here. So this looks pretty awesome behind you. What is iFinity exactly? iFinity is AMD's technology for handling multiple monitors with one graphics card. Uh, we've had two for a long time. With, you can have two monitors, one graphics card. Now we can have up to six, depending on what card you have. So up to six is the maximum amount right. of monitors you can use. Right, and every ATI 5000 series card sold now comes with three connectors. You can have up to three monitors. They're about to release this six display one called uh, the Affinity Edition 5870. So how is this different from other multiple monitor technologies like HydroVision? Well, HydroVision is more of a desktop manager, so you can have multiple desktops, you know, so you can have your you know, work desktop, your play desktop, and all that kind of stuff. Um, Ifinity is a way of scaling up the display over multiple displays. You have like a video wall effect, right? So you can have, in this case, we're running at 5760 by 2160. We have six 1080p displays hooked up. So basically you can blow up a DVD or, or anything pretty yep. much like a massive jumbotron in your own home. That's right. You can have your, with one graphics card and one PC, you can have your own jumbotron. So is there any kind of major performance hit when you're running something like this on your desktop machine? It depends on what it is. For 3D graphics, some games do fine. I was playing around Dirt 2, the racing game. Yeah. You know, great frame rates at full resolution. Uh, other games, like some of the more intensive first-person shooters, may, you may see a performance hit and you want to scale back down the detail. But it, it doesn't just run at the full resolution. You get the same re you get the aspect ratio resolutions that are lower, and so you can still get good performance. Now, I notice on the Dell monitors behind you, they have relatively skinny bezels, but if you right. really want to be using this all the time, do you imagine that other monitor manufacturers are going to design monitors with very, very skinny bezels so they there's are. not that much separation? Yeah. In fact, Samsung's been working on a set of 1080p 23-inch displays, I think, that not only have very skinny monitors, bezels, excuse me, but they'll also come with special stands. You can buy a 3 by one stand or a 6 by 2 stand if you want to do that. So are there limits on the screens that, uh, depending on which Radeon 5000 card you've got? Right. The, the, what's called the Affinity Edition HD 5870 is coming out uh, in the next month or so. That'll have six mini display port connectors in the back. That's the other thing about if you're going to have a lot of monitors, you need display port on the displays. Uh, the regular Radeon HD 5000 cards come with uh, two DVI ports and a display port adapter. So. Now, about how much would this cost you to set up in your own home? Well, not as much as you might think. You know, let's, if you're doing six 23-inch 1080p displays, you can get them now for about 200 bucks. So you think this is $1,200 for the displays. The graphics card is probably going to cost a little more than the standard 5870, probably around $500 and then whatever PC you happen to have. So under $1,500, right. well, not counting the PC, not of course. The PC. What kind of PC setup do you need to really take advantage of Ifinity? A reasonably good mid-range to high-end PC would be good enough, something costing between $1,000 and $2,000. You really don't need a super high-end you know, gaming PC to do this. Interesting. I wonder if I could get mine to work at home. This is going to take some thinking over. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It looks awesome, and there's no way that I can possibly take this unit home with me. If it were mine, I'd loan it to you, but it's not mine, unfortunately. Well, that's very kind of you to say. <laughs> if you want to catch up on Lloyd's work, check out Maximum PC and Anontech. And if you want to follow him on Twitter, just head over to twitter.com slash Lloyd Case.